Say it, don't spray it. Hey, what's up my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Fans Toys Spindrift version 2. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The packaging right up front, as always, we have some lovely, lovely artwork here of Spindrift, aka Sea Spray, in his robot mode, in his alt mode. Up top, we have Spindrift. On the bottom, we have Spindrift. On the side, Spindrift. On the other side, Spindrift. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. You can do this and that and things and stuff and more things and more stuff. And of course you have a very lengthy bio if you want to read it. You can read that on your own time. There you go. Paragraph two, paragraph three, and that's basically it for the packaging. And of course you get the collector's card with another image there of spin drift and in the back you get his tech specs you get the same bio just in much smaller type if you want to read it again go ahead and read it again and yes it says rebot mode there's always a typo on these cards and that's basically it for the cards hooray for cards and moving right along, here we have Spindrift version 2. Um, but yes, uh, Fans Toys did release uh, AC Spray a couple of years ago, and that was, you know, basically their first draft. It was a fine figure, just didn't really look that great. It didn't look like Sea Spray. It didn't, you know, nail that masterpiece aesthetic. So yeah, they went back to the drawing board, and now we have a new Sea Spray, a new Spindrift. And um, yeah, this one is... I can already tell you this one is way, way better than the uh, than the first one they put out. But yeah, here is Sea Spray in his hovercraft mode. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got the nice transparent plastic there for the windshields. Done in nice blue. And it's the nice blue and yellow and white paint scheme. That is Sea Spray. And you can see the propellers there. They do spin pretty freely. Yay! Yay! You can see visible back of the head syndrome. I mean, his face is covered. And it's just, you know, back of his head. You can see. But there is the top. There is the bottom. There are little rolling wheels. So he can roll as hovering things should. Hooray for rolling, hovering things. It actually does roll quite smoothly. He slides very well also. He almost... He almost feels like a real hovercraft. You can play air hockey with him, really. That's just, that's cool. But anyway, there you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with my go-to MP comparison with Masterpiece Sideswipe. Just so you can see how that works out. Here he is with Titan's Return. Sea spray, so you can see how that works out. Um, I don't have a G1 Sea spray, so sorry. No precious comparison this time around, sorry. And here he is with the original Fans Toys Spin Drift. And, you know, we can call this one the uh, the first draft. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was a good first draft. But, you know, definitely the final draft, in my opinion anyway, is way better. And, uh, yeah, alt mode wise, I think uh, version 2 just overall looks a lot better as well. In my opinion anyway. And, again, you can see it's much larger. And everything is just a lot better, you know, kind of closed up. You just kind of have some open areas here and all that. You know, a lot of panels, a lot of little gaps here and there. But on this one, you can see things close up a bit better. So all in all, definitely, uh, definitely an upgrade as far as I'm concerned. So there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, he does include a pair of... Little pistols here, just done in gray. Not a whole lot to them, just little gray guns. And you can store these uh, one of two ways, if you want. Uh, the first way is not my favorite way, um, but there are these little, little panels here that you can open up. You have to open them up from the bottom, and honestly, these are kind of a pain in the butt to get open. 
I had to like this one. This is the only one I got open, and I had to force it open. And you can see—I don't know if you can see—but I kind of scratched a little bit of the paint off. But you just kind of pry these up as best you can. And I don't think this pried up enough. There we go. And you can just drop the guns in here like that. Thing you can do if you want to do it. I personally don't like that. Not too elegant. I don't care for it. But hey, you can do it if you want to. And they're hard to close too. Ugh, there we go. But uh, the way I like is you can come back here, you can open up these panels, and you can drop the guns in sideways, and there are little slots in there for the tabs. And you can just drop that in and close that up. Like so. And like so. Like that. Oops. It does take a little bit of doing to get them actually tabbed in. But it's doable. It's doable. There we go. Close that up. And you can have the guns like that, which I think looks a lot better and looks way more elegant. So I'm a fan of that method of weapon storage. But as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. There's one more accessory, but that's for the robot mode, so we'll get to that when we get to that. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the alt mode. I think it looks quite good. It works. It spins. It spins and it drifts. So it lives up to his name. So hey, I am pleased with it. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> so first thing we do is obviously remove the weapons, get those out of the way, and we can commence. So, first thing we want to do is we want to just take this whole back section here and just bring this down, which will reveal his head. Then we come here to this section, we can flip these panels up and just bring all of this up like so. Then you flip this panel in flip this panel in and then flip this section over and just leave it like that for now. You want to come here to this section and just kind of give it a little wiggle 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 and that will untab this panel here. You get under there and just flip that up. And do the same thing on the other side, just give it a little wiggle 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 so you can get under here and flip that up. And once you've done that, we can untab this whole section. You see the tabs that go right up in here. So just lift that up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take these sections here, these white sections tab into this blue section. So you just kind of want to bring that back like so. And when you're going into alt mode, uh, they want you to bring this section down first and then bring these sections in and tab them in. I did that. And on this side, I broke that tab off. So yeah, I lost the tab, doing it the way the instructions said to do it. Um, it. It's a lot better to just kind of leave this up at an angle and then tab this in. That works a lot better and then you can just bring it all down in one piece. That works a lot better. So yeah, do it that way and you hopefully won't break a tab like I did. But you know, it's not a crucial tab. Honestly, you don't need it. So it's not even mission critical. So I'm not that upset about it, but still, you know, I mean, it always sucks when something breaks, but thankfully it was nothing uh, mission critical. But anyway, just take these sections and just shift them back and just bring all this up, get it out of your way. And let's raise up a little bit so we got some rooms to operate. There we go. So I just want to untab the arms from the side here and just bring them out. Untab the arm, bring it out. And what we're going to do here is we're going to extend his body. So just grab his upper body, grab his waist, just give it a little, little twist and pull like that to bring that down. And this uh, section should come down with it there we go and just shift that to the back and once you do that you can just collapse this back up like so then you can bring his belly down and make sure these panels are all the way up and this just collapse up and that will just tab in right there and make a little backpack and there you go so now we will work on the legs so Get his legs transformed. First we need to split them. Just split all this. Give a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get that out of the way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this section here and bring this out. You're gonna come to this panel here and pop this up 
like so. It's on a double hinge here. You can't see it right there. It's on a ball drain hinge. So just bring that up and just get that out of the way. You then fold this section up and then just swing all this into the foot. Like so. Actually, nope, before we did that, sorry. Doing things in the wrong order. You wanna take the foot itself and all of this will shift around, come back, make sure that panel stays flat. There you go. Now that we've done that, now we bring this in like so, and then we swing this around, collapse this down, and all of this will just friction in right there, and there you have a leg all done. Second verse, guess what? Is just like the fast. So just bring this out and then just undo this. Undo it. Undo. Oops. And it popped off the ball joint. That happens too. It happens. It happens. Yeah, I know. Ball joints. Get back on there, man. There we go. Swing that out and swing all of this back. Do that first. There we go. Bring that out like so. Swing that in. Swing all this in, Boop. and once you've done that, you swing this around, collapse that down, all that will friction in, and there you have his legs all done, and now we move on to the upper body, and we can finish off his chest here as this panel just flips around, just sits there, and for the arms, you're just going to extend them. They just extend boop, a little bit like that. And you can open up this panel now if you want to, but really you can just fold that down, it'll open for you. Close that up, close that up. There you go. Same thing on the other side, second first, just like the first, just extend the arm, rotate it so your elbows are oriented properly. Bring this around, clip that in, close that up. And there you go. There you have a spin drift, aka sea spray in his robot mode. And he looks really good. He looks like sea spray. This looks like the sea spray we all know and love. Just a short, tubby, just stocky dude. He's he's just he's he's George Costanza with a weird speech impediment. That's that's what sea spray is supposed to be. And this is what he is. And I think they did a great job. I ended up with some little like blue flecks of paint on my fingers. Where'd that come from? Probably from the probably from these stupid panels. These stupid panels. I don't like those panels. <laughs> One thing I don't like about those figures, about this figure, is those stupid little panels. But other than that, I think he looks great. He looks great. Definitely a lot better than their uh, their first uh, try at this guy. But let's get in closer so we can take a look at that noggin. There's that noggin. You can see very nice sea spray face there. You got some nice metallic blue there for the eyes. And you can see a big old belly. Now, one thing to note is that you do have this panel right here, if you can see it. This panel right here that can flip around. And that is basically to hide his Autobot symbol. Because when he transforms, the Autobot symbol on his belly disappears. So they give you the option here to have this panel, you have to undo all this to do it, but you can see this panel will flip around. So you can put an Autobot symbol on one side and then when you go to alt mode, you can flip it around so it gets disguised like it's supposed to. So hey, that's cool. It's an option and as always options are good. So hey, why not? Dare I say why not? So you can do that if you want to, but moving down the body, you can see. Nice chunk of legs. His big old feet. His big old boat feet. And move the back. Again, you have these stupid panels. I don't like these panels. <laughs> and you see, that's just a little backpack there, but it all works out very well. It's a very clean transformation. I mean, it just has the stuff hanging off of them. That's supposed to be hanging off of them, so, you know, it works out quite well. Let me flip this back up. There we go. But yeah, all in all. Very, very cool in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head, 
I believe is on a ball joint, uh, but you don't get any wiggly waggly. You get some up and down, you get rotation, head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. A little squeaky, but they can do a full 360. Can move in and out. You got rotation right above the elbow. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Uh, the wrist rotation, unfortunately, is very limited because as you can see, the hinge for this uh, panel is like right there. So it gets in the way and that's pretty much all the rotation you're gonna get out of his wrist. That's it. <laughs> Guys, those hinges just block it. Um, yeah, that's that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Hands can open and close. Uh, he does have waist rotation. The legs can move. Oh, let me. You can move this uh, panel out of the way. And the legs can move forward that far. A nice ratchet. Back that far. A word. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have a ratcheted knee bend. You get 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And the feet. They can move up. You have that double hinge that I work with, so they can move up, they can move down, and you have some ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his weapons. You can give him both guns if you want to, but me personally, I just give him one. But as always, hey, it's yours, do what you want. And see typical tab in the slots of the palm method of weapon holding. Just get that in there, close his hand up. He does hold that very securely. And again, pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and all of that good stuff. And one last accessory you get is a new head sculpt. Now you can have the uh, the nice cartoony head sculpt, or you can give him his, uh, his G1 toy head sculpt. It's totally up to you what you want to do there. Uh, swapping the heads is easy. You just undo the screw here in the back, pop the head off, pop the new one on, tighten the screw. Easy peasy, it is both lemon and squeezy. You can give him his G1 toy head if you want to. So hey, as always, options, they're good. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. With Masterpiece Bumblebee, version two. With Fans Toys, Braun. With Fans Toys, Beachcomber. With Fans Toys, Warpath. With MP44, Optimus Prime. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with the Titans Return. Sea Spray. He's your little guy. And here he is with Fans Toys first version of Spin Drift. And again, I feel like the new version is just way, way better in my opinion because it actually looks like Sea Spray. You know, it actually looks like the sea spray we all know and love. I mean, this figure isn't bad. It's not a bad figure. It just, it's, that's not sea spray. That's sea spray. That's sea spray on a diet, really. That's the sea spray we want to see, really. I mean, this is like, this is like a, like a, like a before and after Nutrisystem commercial or something. I don't know, but hey, in my opinion, anyway, version two is, uh, is better by far. So there you go. So there you have Spindrift version two. And um, yeah, all in all, I am very pleased with this figure. Um, it is a definite improvement over the first version they did. So I'm really glad they you know went back to the drawing board and, and redid this figure because you know this is this is the sea spray I always wanted. This is the one that I needed in my collection and I'm I'm very happy with them. Um you know, um, you know, some unfortunate issues, on, uh, unfortunately, unfortunate issues are unfortunate. Um, but, uh, you know, the tab breaking off, um, I mean, thankfully it's not like a mission critical tab, like those pieces hold in just fine, whether that tab is there or not. 
So they're not crucial tabs, so you're not really gonna miss them if they break off, but still something that could have been improved upon, so that breakage doesn't happen, but it is what it is. Um, you know, uh, those little panels in the front of the boat mode for the guns to go into, those things are way too tight and paint's gonna chip off of them because they're made out of die cast, and there's, there's die cast in this figure as well, so it has a little bit of heft, but yeah, you might get some paint chipping um, from the die cast. So, you know, it's not without its flaws, unfortunately, but um, all in all, though, I'm, I'm still very pleased with this guy. I think he's I think he's really cool. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Fans Toys other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Fans Toys Spin Drift version two. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Palm in your face. Hey, Sea Spray, do you happen to know where I can find some good seafood? I'm trying out a new pizza bagel recipe. Why do you think I would know? Well, I mean, your name is Sea Spray, just seems like something you would, you would know about. I refuse to live in a world of stereotypes. I'm out of here. Wait, where are you going? To the sea. Wait, but isn't that... You know what? Never mind, I give up. <laughs>